Namaste fam, Wolfgore here, and I want to talk to you guys today about the 30-day water-only challenge. Now, this is not water instead of food, this is water instead of any other beverage. Now, this means no alcohol, no caffeine, no juice. This is going to dramatically cut down on your sugar intake and on certain semi-addictive substances. Now, I just completed this challenge, and I gotta tell you, it felt fantastic to get away from caffeine, personally, because I have been hooked on caffeine since I was a teenager. I've just, I've basically had a caffeinated beverage at least one, sometimes up to 10 every day for, gosh, 15 years, and it felt so good to get away from caffeine. And, um, yeah, I was definitely having a bit of a problem with anxiety, uh, which is a problem that I've basically had my whole life, but uh, I noticed that the more caffeine that I was drinking, the worse that it was becoming, so I really wanted to take this challenge to see if I could overcome this and see if it would actually make an impact on anxiety in my life, and I tell you what, it absolutely did. My anxiety is way, way lower than it was before I started, like noticeably so. Even within the first day, it was better just not having caffeine. And uh, yeah, but why don't we jump back to day one, see how I was feeling. We're gonna go through a few updates that I made over the course of the month, and then we'll talk a little bit more after. <laughs> Well, good morning, fam. Sorry, I don't have my tripod with me, so hopefully you won't be too shaky. Uh, yeah, so today is day one of the 30-day water-only challenge, and what that means for me primarily is no caffeine. And if you can't tell, I'm already feeling it. Oh, I feel like shit. Not like sick, just like, ugh. And I'm tired and I'm groggy. And my eyes are heavy and this is the main reason that I wanted to do this challenge is because uh, caffeine I was starting to become a bit of a little caffeine fiend for uh, for a while I was being really good about it and only having like one cup of tea in the morning and then I got back into coffee and started drinking bigger and bigger cup cups of coffee throughout the day and multiple cups and then I got back into energy drinks which has been a weakness for me in the past and uh, yeah yeah, just this last weekend I had an energy drink Friday night, Saturday, and Sunday, uh, which I haven't done in a long, long time. But I kind of wanted to purposefully do that, just so I could kind of jack up my caffeine addiction to see how much of a difference it makes now that I'm getting away from it. So, uh, yeah, long story short, I'm going to be sort of documenting this 30-day process. Fucking loud trucks. I'm gonna be documenting this 30 day process. I'm sure I'm gonna feel hopefully better than this in a couple days. And uh, yeah, for the sake of documentation, uh, my anxiety has been unusually high the past few weeks, which really sucks because anxiety is something that I deal with, but it's been pretty much in check for a while now. Like it's still there, but it's like low key, not a big deal. But yeah, for the past couple weeks, my anxiety has just been really high and just been feeling uh, really, really anxious. It's just been harder to do the things that I want to do and enjoy myself. And I've noticed that my anxiety has been going up as I've been drinking more and more energy drinks and more and more coffee and stuff like that. So 30 day no water challenge, gonna cut out all of the caffeine and see if that helps with anxiety. Well, I'll see you guys soon. Wish me luck. Well, good morning. It is day two of the water only challenge, AKA the no caffeine challenge. And uh, you know, I gotta say, I'm already feeling better-ish so far. I don't know if it's just a coincidence, but the anxiety that I was talking about with you guys yesterday actually felt a lot lower. And uh, yeah, I'm still tired and groggy and I sure wish I had a cup of coffee. But hey, if this is what it takes to uh, clear up my anxiety, then worth it. Oh, it's also worth mentioning, uh, I meant to mention this yesterday, but uh, yeah, I don't drink anymore, so alcohol isn't a factor in this whole equation for me. But if you are trying this for yourself and uh, drinking is a thing for you, then that might make it a little bit more difficult. But fortunately, I already stopped doing that, so 
Anyways, I guess I'll see you guys tomorrow. Well, good morning. It is the morning of the fourth day, and I'm feeling very, very good. Uh, it's a little bit harder to start my days without caffeine now. I'm still a little sleepy, but not like it was on the first or the second day. It's pretty, yeah, I'm fine. I'm fine, I don't, I don't really think I need it. And uh, my anxiety has consistently been down every day that I've been off caffeine. And I'm just feeling good, I, I gotta say. This is, this is going well. This is going really well. Anyways, I'll check in with you guys in about a week. Or if anything happens. Hey guys, day nine. The water only challenge continues to go well. I don't know what other updates I have to say other than, yeah, it's going well, I feel good. It's nice to be off caffeine. And uh, yeah, feeling good. I guess I'll see you guys in another week or so. I'll let you know if anything new happens. Well, day 12, and I'm feeling great. It's uh, easier to get up in the morning, and all in all, this is, this is a really great challenge. It's nice to be off the caffeine. And uh, I'm actually losing weight, which is kind of incredible. I haven't been below 155 in quite a while. I hover between 155 and 160, and I'm actually down to almost 150 pounds, which kind of makes sense because I have been cutting a lot of sugar out of my diet. So, there's that. So you can see, I definitely went through a bit of a low and then high uh, over the course of the past month. The first few days were kind of rough, but you know, getting getting away from those feelings of anxiety really kept me moving forward. Um, if that's not an issue for you though, I would still highly recommend this. It was just nice to be off of all of that sugar and all of that just bad stuff that I was putting into my body. Um, yeah, I just, I couldn't recommend this anymore. I think it was a really, really great way to challenge myself. And there was a little update at the end. I went to Taco Bell, uh, probably a couple days ago now, maybe three days ago. And it was my first time getting a caffeinated beverage since I did the challenge a little over a month ago. I got one of their boxes and I just got one of their medium sized sodas that comes with the box. And I was like, sure, I'll drink a Baja Blast. And as I drank it, I felt really good. It, you know, caffeine is an upper drug. That's what it does. It makes you feel good. It makes you want to go do things. You know, I just felt and looked a little bit brighter and I was like, just jazzing. But then that night I had like this really noticeable crash. I was just in a bad mood. I was just, I, I was grumpy. I felt just gross and out of it. And it, it was definitely the caffeine though. I'm almost positive that that caffeine is just capable of having more of a negative impact on your life than you might realize. It just might be that you're on such a habitual process of drinking caffeine, you know, every single day, maybe multiple times a day, that you might not be noticing the effects that it's having on you, the negative ones. So I would highly, highly recommend that you check this out. It's going to help you with your anxiety. My sleep has dramatically improved. I'm able to fall asleep uh, before 11, which is my bedtime, where in the past typically would take off and I would lay in bed for an hour, hour and a half. Uh, so I'm able to fall asleep better, I'm able to get up much easier, and just start my day without having to be like, oh, I gotta go make coffee before anything can happen. So it's just, it's just convenient. You know, I'm saving a little bit of money on caffeinated drinks, and I've cut down on my sugar intake. I lost, I think, about five pounds during this challenge. Like, granted, I keep it pretty trim, like I exercise a lot and I watch what I eat, but for me to lose weight from this, I was really shocked. You know, I went from about 155, 158, something like that, down to the low 150s, like 150 to 153. So, you know, if you're also looking to lose weight, which I know a lot of us are, I would definitely recommend this for you as well. And uh, as for the, uh, the drinking of alcohol, personally, I uh, gave up drinking about six months ago, so that wasn't really a factor for me, but if you are looking to maybe take a break from the drinky drinkies, this is gonna be a really convenient way to do that as well. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video and you learned something. And if you do decide to try this yourself, please let me know down in those comments below how it's going for you, how it went for you. And uh, I would love to know. Thank you, Beardheart. Love your faces. Bye fam. You ever seen guns like these? <laughs> Anyways, yeah, make sure you like the video to support the channel. Make sure you leave comments supporting the content creator and uh, telling, telling me how hot I am. Yeah, I know. Oh, God.
Damn, I'm disgustingly hot. Oh, yeah. And uh, did I forget anything? Oh, and uh, be sure to share on social media. We really like that over here at the uh, Wolf Door LLC. Thank you, fam. See you next time. Bye-bye.